Dr. Jackie Knight, you have uh, delivered the speech very good, and you have great time in the name of Muslim. Great job. Uh, I read the Quran from Al Fatiha to Anas, I have finished. Uh, but in terms of uh, Arabic, I feel confused. If Allah is a unique name, why in the Quran use the pronoun like in English P? Because in Arabic, we know single, boy, and poor like you, as a male gender like Huma, Huma, Hum, Hia, Huma, Hum, Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antuna, and Anna, Nafnu. What about in the Holy Quran? Always the name of the Holy Quran. My name is Tony. I'm an engineer by profession. Marcelo, Tony, you asked a very good question. Let me, let me finish my question, sir. Uh, for example, in the Quran, in Surah Al-Aqal, you can see, Allah, 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 and so on and so on, until the last Surah is, Allah, 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 there's so many words of Hua, which means male gender. If the Allah is a unique name, why could one always describe as a male gender? Thank you. That's a very good question, brother. That's a very good question. That if Allah is a unique name, then why do you say Allah he huwa? Kun, huwa huwa. Say he Allah huwa huwa. And this question, brother, troubled me for many years. This question you're asking me, troubled me for many years and tell this question to many people and none of the answers satisfied me. Until my learning Arabic, I got my own answer. And Allah says, Pas alu ali sikri in kuntila salam. If you don't know, ask the one in the next word. So when I got this answer, I asked Dr. Fahad Darim, but is my answer correct? He said, he said, Muntaz, excellent. And I'll give you the answer. My answer to this question is that normally, in English language, we have three genders. Male, female, and mother. In Arabic, we have two genders, male and female. Masculine and feminine. And there are certain rules and regulations for the Arabic grammar to say it is feminine. Number one, if it is feminine by nature, Ummun is feminine. Correct? Uktum, Ummun is mother, feminine by nature. Uktum is female. Uktista. By nature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by nature is not feminine. Number two. If it ends in ta, ta, like the satun, what? Satun means what? It becomes feminine. Mirvatun, tan. It ends in ta, it becomes feminine. So this is the Arabic grammar. If it ends in ta, it becomes feminine. Then the other one, if it ends in alif, ba alif, it becomes feminine. Third rule. Fourth rule, if it's pair of a body, ayun, becomes feminine. Yadun, hand, becomes feminine. So this is Arabic grammar. These are rules for being feminine gender. By nature, ending in third, with alif, with male. Now if you put Almighty God is not feminine by nature, Almighty God, Allah doesn't end in third, it doesn't end with alif. It is not in third, it's full of Allah. Or Tell the lover only. So by default, because there is no third gender in Arabic, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no gender, so by default we say hua. Do you understand? Yes. So by default we say hua. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nowhere in the Quran does it say is male or female. Agree with me. So by default, by the Arabic grammar, it doesn't come under feminine, we put so this is by default. But nowhere ever will you find that Allah is masculine in gender. This is by default because of the Arabic language. It is not feminine. It becomes masculine. That's the reason we use the word. What is the question? 
Can I ask one more question, sir? One more question. One more question. Uh, okay. Other talk, other related to uh, the dietary restriction. You mentioned in the Leviticus um, 11 verses 7 and 8 that we, a Christian, uh, to eat pork. So, if you look at the previous uh, verses, it's already prohibited also camel, pirates, and rabbit. So, if you believe, or uh, if you, we must not eat pork, so you have to believe in this previous verse. You, you don't have to, you, you must not eat it camel, pirates, and rabbit. Is that correct, sir? Well, uh, the question that I put in Book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. Where it says, Pope is private. Before that, it says, Tamil is private. Yes. And even Dabit is private. I like and Dabit. Correct. So, is it true? For those people who believe that Bible is the word of God, yes. For me, I believe Quran is the word of God. And nowhere does the Quran say that Tamil is private in the heart of God. That is why we Bible only says, Pope is private. If you believe in the Bible, and if you believe everything of the Bible is correct, yes, you have to follow. What I'm doing, I'm talking about the similarity, whether Tamil is right or wrong. Bible says folk is prohibited, Quran says folk is prohibited. Let us both agree not to have folk. Yes. So Bible says Tamil is prohibited, but the Quran says Tamil is allowed. So what is different will discuss tomorrow, correct? If you are a Christian, you have to follow. I'm going to. I'm not following in the Bible. I don't believe the Bible to be the word of God. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I believe the Quran to be the word of God. Yes, I'm a Christian. I do not eat pork. Yes, I was in some size. Mashallah. I, I don't drink alcohol and I'm not a smoker. Mashallah, very good. But so, so do you believe Jesus in God? Or do you believe yes, Jesus in God? Yes, I believe in God because in many... Uh, so do you believe Jesus in God? Or yes, I don't believe in God. Yes, God, because in the exercise system, I just... Put my hand touch out the other spirit on some person in the name of Jesus, the other spirit out from this person, the other system. And you say just because you touch your hand and you take the name of Jesus and you spread the love, correct? Yes, correct, because the high spirit. Jesus Christ speaks upon himself in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 13, verse number 13. Uh -huh. For there shall be many false Christ and false prophets who will do wonders and miracles in my name. And Did you say that? For a person, for a person can do. So, miracle is not the test. Putting out your hand and taking out evil spirit is not the test. If that's the case, you should go to a hospital and put your hand and treat, the, treat all the patients of cancer. You know, the Christian missionaries, they come and do healing sessions. After the man comes healing, why are you doing healing in the, in the open ground? Go and do healing in the hospital. Right? Yes. 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 this is nothing but fake. If you can really heal, you go in the hospital, you get better than customers. Why do you require a specialist? Why do you require doctors? Go and do healing session, all the, all the patients would be healed. So that's what I believe. believe. I still believe Jesus is God because I know I'm the Allah and the Omega and the Allah. Is there any unequivocal statement, statement anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ speaks there for himself says that I am God and worship me? What about the Philippus say that Jesus show me the Father and Jesus say, How can how can I ask I um, how can you uh, ask me? Show me the Father. I've been long time with you, you don't understand the Father. Where is this? I think it's uh I thought it in uh Gospel of John. Yeah, that's number fourteen. Alright. Alright. Verse number nine. This was already asked by another girl earlier. If you read the context, Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 1, Jesus Christ is the person, if your heart is troubled, if you have faith in Almighty God, have faith in me also. For so I am going to Almighty God. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it was not so, I would understand you, sir. I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go to you, I will call you. And you know that I am there. So then Philip said, I don't know where you go. Then he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father but through me. That means he's a messenger. 
Every messenger at his time, he was the way the truth and the world. No man coming to the father of the world. Then he said, now you know the world. But now we don't know the way to show the world. Then he said, that now you have seen him and you know him. Then he said, he that has seen me has seen the father. Gospel of John chapter 14, verse 7 and 8. He that has seen me has seen the father. He is knowing. So if you know Jesus, you know the father. The work that I do, thereby it was my father. See the context. 